Well, hello there folks, David, your friendly hairy Scotsman here once again doing another wee cooking thing. Um, tonight I am doing another version of stir fry. Um, I will be doing something else as well, but that will come in another video. I have a nice little bit of steak there. It is Scotch beef sirloin steak. So I'll be cutting a chunk of that off just now and uh, gently frying that up with a little bit of salt and pepper and a wee bit of oil on it. That'll be quite straightforward to do. Um, I'm then going to put some hoisin in with it as it's cooking to give it a bit of flavour. Um, I'm going to add some garlic and some ginger. I'm cheating, I've got them in bottles like you know, little jars like that. I'll be doing some bean sprouts and noodles. Um, and I have some water chestnuts and bamboo shoots. So I'll be throwing all that together um, in my wok. Um, I've got some rice through that I've already got ready, so that'll be. I'll just sort of put that on the side as well, which should be quite nice. So let's get started. I'll bring the camera down a bit so I can let you see what I'm doing. Oops, it's falling away. I'm going to have to get myself a new uh, bracket for this because it's just. All it needs is basically a rubber o-ring on it to stop it falling apart, which would be quite good. Now, that's right. Can get in here like this. And zip up there. All right, there is a lovely piece of sirloin. Now, I'm making a bit of this for my mum and dad, they cannot stand the, the fat on it. Even though, as we know, that's where 90% of the flavouring is. So, birdies out the back, I'm going to be getting a nice little feed later on. As I just strip this off the back. And this little nugget at the end. Right, that's that off. That looks rather nice. I'm going to take roughly half of it, like so, and then cut that in half, like that, and then cut fine strips. Off like this. It's actually so much easier doing it with a pair of scissors than it is doing it with a knife. So we'll just chop this up like this. Which doesn't take too long at all. Honest. Last little bit there, and then the other one, we'll just do that. This is a really nice bit of meat. And I'll work it out how, roughly how much it cost at the end. Just take that wee bit of silver off there, because we don't want it chewing up, pulling up from that. Getting to the end, a bit of tendon in there, so I'll just take that off, take that wee nuggy off the end there, I can go out. So, we've got the meat there, which is looking quite nice. You got a bowl, throw that in there just now, like so. I'm going to 
Get a wee drop hyson over it at the moment. Just open that up. Just pour in a wee drop in there. I know I said I was going to do that different, but I just decided what the heck. Let's do it this way. Hmm. Oh, that is. That is yummy. I'm going to throw in a little, I'll throw the garlic in there or in the oil. I'll throw it in the oil. And I'm going to take a little bit of the ginger, which is going to come out. Let's go this way. A little bit of ginger out there, which will be getting chopped up a bit finer than that. Not a lot of ginger, just a little bit. That's nice. Nice wee rough chop, like so. Make sure the knife's going right through it all because this wee chopping board has a wee lip on it. Right, that is as ready as the ginger will be. So let's get the pan on. camera over so you can actually see what I'm doing Put it up just a wee touch a little bit settling in there okay and a wee splash of oil But I'm just gonna let you see that. I'm just stirring the hoisin through the meat or the meat through the hoisin just to let it get a bit of flavour on it. That's going round like that, that's coming up quite nicely. Easy as that, I'll just wipe my hand. on to pull out some of this. Right, we've got a wee bit of colour on there now. I'm going to throw in the meat. Turn this light down just a wee touch on here. That's better. Make sure it's all cooked nicely. Absolutely 
beautiful. So yummy like that. <coughs> if only we had smelly vision at the moment, you would be loving this. I can almost guarantee it. I think that is pretty much there. So I'm just going to throw it back just now in that wee bowl. Like so. A little more heat on. A lot more oil. And it's time for the noodles to go in. There's a lot of noodles in here. But as I say, I'm cooking this for mom and dad as well. So let's get it in there with the hands. Spread them all out a wee bit, so they're a wee bit clogged up there. Ow! Okay, that bit was possibly in the heat. That's going in there quite nicely just now. We'll get that moving around. Pop in a wee bit more oil, it's starting to catch on the bottom. Mix there. And we'll get the crunchy bean sprouts. Put them in. Like so, that's them. Give it a splash of soy. Put in there. I think I can do with a bigger walk. This is kind of food. Now the rest of that hoisting that I've got sitting there, I'm just going to put it in here. Give this a wee bit more room. Like so. If you cannot go wrong with you've got the hoist in, in my view. That's third in. If folks don't like it, it just means there's more for me. Because I love hoisting sauce. I usually do it on duck. But nobody else in the house likes duck for me. So no one doesn't like beef, which is fish, and have a wee taste of that. 
but I won't mix it through for her, I'll just sit it on the top. Together nicely. Yummy! The smell coming off it is out of this world. Pop it back in. That is almost there. Okay. Well, try mean not mean burnt noodles or something there. I don't burn any of that caramelised if nothing else. Take that off for a second. I'm going to go and get the rice because that's through another room, and I'll be back in a sec. I'm back again, so I've just put the bamboo and the water chestnuts in here. Let's pull it in a wee bit so you can see it better. There we go. as well. Actually, yeah, for a minute. It's going to take a couple of minutes to come to you. So Just, I don't know if it heats there because it's just cool enough for a wee touch. It's starting to taste quite nice. Get the heat up a bit on it. So, let me start again. on each plate, everyone knows what rice looks like. Like this. 
ました、ね。Some of the plates here. I'll move that over there. There we go. Pull that off. Ouch. And real water chestnuts. Again, Back up. 
So unfortunately you're going to see my mug again. That over there, and that over there. And I'll just let you know what this tastes like. Here it is. There's my thumbnail just done. Let's try a wee bit of the meat. Oh wow. That is so tender. Bean shoot. Some of the noodles. Wow, is all I can say to that. That is absolutely fantastic. And that has cost me roughly um what about Probably about one pound fifteen, one pound twenty a serving, somewhere in that mark. That's three of us there. I've got the meat there for something else that I'm going to be doing for tomorrow. Um, so I'll take this through just now, give it to my folks, and we'll have some tea together. Uh, I hope everyone's keeping well and safe out there. If you like what I'm doing, I would appreciate it if you'd hit the red button um, and hit the bell. YouTube might let you know when I'm actually putting these videos up again. Um, take care of yourselves and I'll see you all very soon. See ya!